The stability booklet of a modern ship contains tables of minimum GM required for the present draft and trim. This GM guarantees that the ship fulfills all the stability requirements applicable, both in intact and damaged condition, provided that the center of gravity G of the ship is calculated accurately. GM minimum requirement tables. For passenger ships, the maximum draft and the location of the load line mark often depends on the damage stability calculation and the deepest subdivision load line. When this draft is reached, the minimum GM requirement increases rapidly. If there is enough freeboard left, the draft cannot be larger if the ship is to fulfill the damage stability rules. From the floodable length curves, it is possible to see if the damage in question will cause margin line immersion. According to the damage stability rules, this is not allowed. There are often several curves in the same diagram, one for each factor of permeability. This example is from a two-compartment ship. It means that the ship shall survive damage in any pair of compartments. This can be seen in the diagram. The top of the triangles is not to penetrate the curves. We can also investigate if the ship can have three compartment damage without margin line immersion by drawing new triangles where the base extends over three watertight compartments. Now the top should be below the curve. This is in fact the case for some part in the foreship if the permeability factor is 0.8 or below in the damaged compartments. Click here to continue. But amidship, the top will go through the curve and cause margin line immersion. An onboard computer program for stability with damage stability module is a fast way to see if the ship will survive damage. You can also directly see the residual stability in the damaged condition by input to damaged spaces in the program. Damage Control Plan Every ship shall have a damage control plan showing clearly for each deck and hold the batteries of the watertight compartments, the openings therein with the means of closure and position of controls thereof, arrangements for the correction of any lift due to flooding, cross-flooding and flooding arrangements. Generally, a passenger ship cannot fulfill the stability rules if the damage is unsymmetrical around the center line of the ship. Therefore, cross-flooding arrangements are sometimes necessary. There can be ducts in the double bottom and in some cases even special pipes. This will help flooded water to reach the other side of the damaged compartment and reduce the healing angle. Down-flooding pipes have the same function and lead water from a damaged compartment near the water line to below the compartment and then via cross-flooding arrangement to the opposite side. Precautions and measures in case of damage. Close watertight doors. Be sure all openings in the side of the ship and the freeboard deck are closed. Reduce the angle of heel with healing tanks or ballast tanks. Be sure that the valves in pipes which come from the damaged compartments are closed. Use the valves of scuppers that go through the damaged compartments.